Welcome back to another Basement Billiards video. Uh, today we're going to be practicing our left and right English and learning ways how it can affect and improve our game immensely. So before we get started with the drills, I wanted to show you guys the impact of using left and right English and what I mean by left and right English. So by left English, I mean hitting left of the center of the cue ball. And by right, I mean hitting right of the center of the cue ball. And as you can see there, when you hit on the right, it takes the ball right off of the rail. And when you hit to the left, it takes the ball to the left off of the rail. So now we're going to get started with some of our drills. All right, so for this first drill, we're going to see um, what the impact of using left and right English is on one of these very simple shots. So to start off, I just hit dead straight, no left, no right English. I just hit on the center of the cue ball. Uh, in this case, I'm not using a cue ball. I'm using a stripe ball just so that you guys can see the spin uh, while the ball is rolling. So the objective here is to get hit the same exact shot three times and get the cue ball to land in both of the squares. So on that first shot, I used right English, which took the ball right off the rail and got us into that square. And on this next one, I'm going to hit the exact same shot from the exact same position on the table, and we're going to try to get the cue ball to end up in the left square. So this is very helpful in uh, situations where you're trying to set up for a ball that you can't with just hitting the ball normal. So on this next drill, pretend that the 9 ball is blocking the pocket of the 8, and you're trying to get on the inside of it to pocket the 8 ball in the other corner. So to do this, I hit high right English, which takes the ball two rails and sends us over uh, to set up on the 8 ball. So another great thing about using left and right English is that you can get the cue ball to slow down in situations where you might scratch like this one here. So in this shot here, if I hit just dead straight, the, the cue ball is going to scratch in the side pocket over by the 8 ball. But since the cue ball will be going to the, on your left side, naturally it's going to go to the left. If we use right English, that will substitute and slow down the cue ball, as you can see here. So for this drill here, uh, I want to set up for the six ball in the corner pocket that is not blocked by the nine. And if I hit the cue ball straight with no English, there's no way for me to do that because it naturally rolls to the point that I just hit. So if I hit this ball with left English, it actually zips off the rail and cuts the angle down so that the cue ball is able to set up on the inside of the six, uh, allowing us to pot the ball and set up for the eight on the other end of the table. In this last drill, the most advanced drill, I'm going to try to be setting up for the 8 ball three different ways. So if I hit dead center on this ball, I'm going to leave myself a very hard shot on the 8 ball down the table. So here you want to hit left English and get the cue ball to zip off of the bottom rail and help your setup on the 8 become a little bit easier. So as you can see there, when the cue ball hits that end rail using left English, the ball spins to the left side, headed over to the 8 ball. Now we can do the same same exact shot, same setup, and move the 8 to the opposite side of the table. And if we use right English, the cue ball should end up uh, with a lot easier setup on the 8 ball than before. And as you can see, it spins right over and gives us a straight in shot on the 8 ball. And uh, like I said earlier, these English, English shots come into play a lot, and it will really help you with your setup uh, to give you an easier end of the game. 